Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wack Rendor, and welcome to the Speed Bowl Week 4 Weekly Recap, although this is like the double weekly recap because we haven't played in two weeks. That's because Lumen got married, so him and Force took all that time to play their match, but that's okay. You know, I figured, hey, you're getting married, whatever, you can, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> but, uh, we're back on track. I'm gonna be in LA this weekend, though, but that's only Friday through Sunday, and then I come back Monday, so it shouldn't really matter because I'll play my game before that. Uh, either way, let's get down to business. This uh, show is brought to you by Lil Skittles, rainbows for the masses. This week's matchups, we had the Funny Farm taking on the Dark Rainbows, we had Halflings against Rule Britannia, Would Not Bang against the Mad Bombers, the Brussels Stouts against And My Sack, and Dog and Bone against Tales of Rats. So let's take a look! The Orc team is like the first team that I'm playing, it's like the worst timing, that I can't really bash, so... Well, that's what yeah. I was gonna say! Like, yeah, I, I've been I, playing teams I can beat the shit out of this whole time, and now all of a sudden dwarf. I think we should have a gentleman's agreement that okay, we should we'll have see. no yeah. physical contact whatsoever. <laughs> and just play good, clean ball. That doesn't really work for me, because I'm not going to be launching any passes, I think, over the, the heads of your opponent or your players. But, oh man, 14 seconds. I don't like that. Just don't panic, Please. whatever you do. Right, Do not yeah. panic at all. Oh, oh no! Okay. Dead? He uh, died? Oh, that's my blitzer. It's the hill of the punch. Yeah, I'll reroll that. All right, badly okay. hurt, no long term effect. That it's was okay. the first it's... time anyone's done anything real to my characters. SPP in the bank, man. I know that, you know, Blood Bowl is based on tabletop gaming. It's, it's yeah. from tabletop gaming. But uh, it, it is funny to me, as someone who's experienced with football, is like all through professional sports, when like someone picks up a ball that's just on the ground and the announcers are like, oh my god! <laughs> it's the most incredible <laughs> thing ever! <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the orcs didn't even fi find out about the ball until a few years ago. They didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, that's like the lore of the game? Is that... Yeah. I like that. This game has personality. Four plus. Here we go. Hey! The orcish pass for the win. <laughs> awesome. All right, it worked. 40 seconds is crazy, and, and a lot of people have... Oh, and that's All right. it. All right. Well, there's the, the, the best the laid plans. <laughs> Alright, well, there's my, my second 0-0 zero, zero draw of the season. Now, is it true you've only been scored on once? Yes. I was so hoping I would be the one <laughs> to, to follow that up. I've only been, Came I've close. only scored once, too, though. So I'm like, one win, one loss, two draws, and exactly equal on differential as well. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready for this. This is the game. This is like the game everyone's been waiting for, too. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eat that guy! Fuck me! Oh, he's oh, badly hurt. <laughs> he badly hurt his <laughs> friend. Is... Okay. It's all it's all coming together now. Passing the ball apparently on a four plus, which is very unlikely to succeed. But I do have pro, so that's cool. Oh, then again, I rolled a six, so. I mean, that's nice. That was pretty nerdtastic. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tempted <laughs> to do that because I used my reroll. <laughs> That but was then just your I was over. Then I was overcome by a feeling <laughs> that I think. Um, oh, it's. Do you know that feeling that you get sometimes when you really want to win? I do. I do know that feeling. I call that uh, every game I play. All right, okay. I got this. I got this. First off, we got to do a Dougie. Got to do a Dougie. Give me that Dougie. Uh, that works. Okay, we shove him up here now. Okay, you got Here 10 seconds comes left. the swag. Here comes the swag. We pick up the ball. I, okay, okay. Now we now run. We run. We run. Oh, no. You're doing it. Stop doing it. No. Yes. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Fuck, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, damn it. What am I going to do now? He even rolled a six. Yeah, he rolled that's a do that. And then you roll a sit. I should have just handed the ball off. I'm a nerd. Oh my god. I am stupid. All I had to do was hand the ball off to the goblin. But I passed it. And then you with your luck rolls today. That's me. Yep. Fuck. Okay, get over here. Run. Okay, now. Pass that vampire. Uh, yes, I would like to reroll that. Perfect launch. Good. Okay. Oh my oh. god! That's not the end of it, though. Because this is my last turn. So, run over here. Give it to that thrall. Don't bite him. 
Okay, Thrall. Rooster Pryor, you can do this. Run. Run like the wind. Fall. You gotta be kidding me. No. Oh. Ooh. We're going up. You might, you know what? You know what? This play? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You, yes! you might be the first person to score on me. I think you, you may be right. Shorty Smalls! Yeah! I can't believe this happened! We're not out! <laughs> I feel like I feel like I let everyone down. You did, you let everyone down. Push. And get this ball, young one. No, what the Oh, <laughs> oh you <laughs> oh, you're s that goblin's so dead. Yes. Oh my god. I thought I had one turn left. No. No. <laughs> you lied to me. I was so high in hopes. I was so high in hopes. <sighs> well, what a roller coaster of emotions. Don't, don't throw it back. Throw it back! Perfect launch <laughs> and a perfect catch. Man, what are you doing to me? <laughs> well, At least you somehow trips. Yeah, right now. yeah exactly. <laughs> well, um... Stop doing that little dance. I, that might be my first score of the season. So, actually, I don't... I was just going to say you shouldn't feel too bad, but that probably makes you feel even worse. That, that doesn't help. Okay. He fumbles it. <sighs> Yes! He didn't fumble it. He didn't fumble it. Now, he's got a dodge. It all comes down to one dodge. Okay. It's one dodge. Okay. Yes! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ties it up. All right. That's the equalizer. How did you do that? How did you do that? I want to ask the same thing about your play. Okay, you just... yeah, I guess you're right. How did you do that? <laughs> Oh man, okay. That just happened. I don't want to throw. Oh no. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance. Go, go, go. Do it. Don't trip. Don't trip. No! <laughs> no! You tripped! <laughs> you idiot! How did he trip then and there? Man, that's gonna be painful. <laughs> that is gonna be so painful. This is ridiculous. I can't even handle it. <clears throat> How huh, that is possible? What? You killed someone! Yeah. He survived him! <laughs> oh, pinched nerve, okay. Whew. It was a fun game. Yeah. Definitely not a great game. But, hey, it happened. That's kind of what I expected after the long break. And I'm joined on this boat by Sam Strippen. Indeed, here we are. Um, I'm a little bit anxious. My team is... Has, has been through a lot, and it now has. it faces possible extinction at the hands of the one and the only Total Biscuit. Alright, who's going to attempt the interception? Oh, the one player that... yeah. Alright. Yes! Successful no. goblin interception! Hey. That never happens! How did that <laughs> Look how high he jumped! Oh, got to re-roll that. Good. Good. Oh. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Of course. All right, I'll I'll take that. <sighs> All right. This is already turning into a comedy of errors, isn't it? It is, but on both our parts, I feel. Indeed. All right. <laughs> no, Pogoa! Whoa, no! My Pogoa! <laughs> I need him. He's my only good player. Is he badly hurt? He's badly hurt. Already taken the casualties, and your lineman's got it. Come on, come no. on! Fail come to on. go for it. Fail to go for it. Fail to go for it. No! Yeah. Oh, oh shame. I hope that was play. one of mine. I've completely forgot that you're going to try and throw him again. That slipped my mind entirely. Go on. All right. Uh, I oh, what? This requires a six? Uh, Reroll, yeah. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I think if I'd actually rolled that Have one, you, you would have thought about killed that enrolling goblin. that troll in, say, you know, javelin. Okay. 
Here we go. You've only got five seconds. Oh, he KO'd Google Plus. Did he? He, he, he ate him. I don't think he ate Is him. That he right? knocked him out. What? He oh my gosh. Yeah, he failed the landing, which KO'd him immediately. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. This strategy is not working out for me. <laughs> I have yet to see someone successfully throw a person in the entire tournament so far. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not I really think Dodger's tried multiple times and every time the halfling has died on impact with the floor. <laughs> it can happen. Both down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that is a mercenary, so I'm going to let him die. What are the odds of that? Every <laughs> game I've had someone die. With just Holy like crap. clockwork. Holy crap. I'm glad that was a mercenary. Good lord. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Eat him. Eat him. God. Dro drop him on the floor. Reroll it. Oh, for the love of God, why? <laughs> Deary me. It's a... Uh... It's a bit of a massacre. All right, there's the dodge on the gobbo. We need no. to take the lineman out. Come on, we're relying on the splits. It has got push. to work. Push, 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 push. Make it's it a push. It's got to work. Uh, Reroll, yeah. it's got to work. No! Yeah. Dice, why? <laughs> He's got to run it in now. Oh! Yeah! Ooch. What about 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 it? Ooh. Oh, God damn it! The dice! <laughs> How many ones can one man deserve? <laughs> Three goblins! Oh. God! Three goblins, four dice rolls. This is a disgrace! Well, there's not much left of your team. <laughs> no, no, there isn't. But your only dead player was a mercenary, so that that's something. My chainsaw did not do the job. Just embarrassing displays from him. You are not. You are not. No. No. Uh, you bastard. <laughs> no. That's just not even. Uh, I'll kick you when you're down. Bam. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I apologize for the shrieking. That has peaked the mic somewhat dreadfully. Oh. Uh, and there we have it. Why do I still play Blood Bowl? I don't know. Ask yourself. Oh. Ask yourself. Take a long, hard look in the mirror. <laughs> I see a broken goblin. <laughs> Please at least I give just, me good money. I really want to just give you a hug. Ten th oh, the dice! Again, 10,000 I got 70,000. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Today we face Dodger, and the question is, can we win? Can we actually score? And please, God, let's not lose, because that would be terrible. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I think the first thing is we have not scored yet in this tournament, so we're going to try and fix that I in have this game. I haven't either. I was yeah, looking at the <laughs> listing of yeah. all of us, and I was like, oh no, we're at both at the bottom. I know, but this we is are at the bottom. an important game. <laughs> <laughs> if you can kill, yeah, if you can kill give a, it him. Give it him. If Hello, you, little man. <laughs> Hello, little man. If you can man. kill a halfling, I will buy you a bag of chips. That's what I'll do. Oh my that's, god, what an offer. What a level of dedication to this game. Well, that's not a very good place to ball to drop, but I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, thank you. That's right where I wanted it. So I think we smashed this fellow. Uh, oh, nice. Yes, right, good. That. That's, that's fine. Oh Badly yes! Hurt. Oh yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, okay, now we're no. gonna go. We're gonna go I in. It's a one it. die. It's a one die. It's I a one die. It. Block! Do it! Do it! Do it! Um, that just did nothing because it was a push into nowhere. <laughs> get over there. Do it! Do it! Run for your life! No! What the hell? Why? Oh, what? Yes! Oh, thank I, God! God! Did Sir Patrick Stewart just fall over? He just fell that? over. Yes. That is oh, disgusting. no. We could have, we, we might have been able to have get a. No! Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, God. I We're going to go there. Oh, gonna go God. There. I'm going to cry. I'm going to just cry myself to sleep. Come on. Don't, don't, don't drop it. Do it. Do it. Perfect launch. Uh, uh, oh, yes. No. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Now, all that's left is. Th Come on. You can do it. Who is this? Who is that? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Christmas special. Oh yes. God. Who is that? Is that who is that that just scored? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even care. Well done. I think it was Isaac Newton, possibly. He's the nah, master of gravity. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. There's okay. There's only a few seconds left. Yeah, I know. I know. It's fine. It's fine. Get the ball. Come on. Yep. Go. Oh, he did it. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Go. God. Do it. Come yes. No, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, they're like four oh. seconds. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's, it's, it's definitely getting very tense here. Go. Oops. Just gamble. Oh, gamble it. Gamble it. Gamble it. This is rich. I shouldn't have done that, should I? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I could have, I could have taken my the time. Gamble. Why are the gamble? What was... We're just going to get. Do it. Do it. It's a plus three. It's a plus three. Do it. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh, oh you did it! Ooh. My heart, you guys, my heart is broken. That was broken that, that was all out haste from a dice, <laughs> that was. That was not on. That was that well, was graceful. <laughs> well the thing is, Dodger, I sort of like I, I, I do feel sorry for you, but <laughs> you've oh, been destroyed. You, should, you so shouldn't. Like, I mean you feel happy. <laughs> happy yeah, but sad. Like... And now we take a look at the Hall of Fame, otherwise known as the statistics of the league. Uh, so we have Sarah Silverback. Whoa, I just messed that up. We have Sarah Silverback at number one with 21 SPP. We have Splin uh, second with 18. Then we have Master Splinter and Google Plus with 12. And Dove Chappelle and Above Board with 10. So TB having two players in the top five SPP. That's pretty good for a person with one win. Maybe he'll get luckier. Rick Troll uh, getting nine SPP. And he's tied with Gordon Ramsay and battering Ramses. So, uh, Monty Zoomer with eight, and I believe there's some other people with eight too, but it only does top 10. Best score, Sarah Silverback, five touchdowns. That's a lot of, su this is a lot of touchdowns. Above board with three, that is TB's Pogor. Uh, Splin with two, Monty Zoomer with two, Ratbot 4000 with two, Shorty Smalls with two, and Master Splinter, Radis Maximus, Big Gabo, Janine Giraffalo, and a bunch more players with one. Uh, best thrower, we got Master Splinter, four passes. Radis Maximus with three, Monty Zoomer, Sarah Silverback, Taffy with two, and all these guys have one, nobody cares. Best interceptor, we got four now. We have Janine Giraffalo, Zach Ge Gazelle Fanakis, Screeching Let's Player, and Google Plus, all with interceptions. To show how rare that is, the TGS Blood Bowl League had one interception our entire league, so pretty crazy. Uh, most violent player. Kelly has three casualties caused, and then all these players with two, Sarah Silverback, Baton Ramsey's Rick Troll, Gordon Ramsey, George Bashington, Lil Cheesnar, Winston Churchill, The Stig, and Creed. Best runner, Monty Zoomer, 128 yards rushing, Splin with 108, Ratbot, 4,000 with 88, 82 for above board, Sarah Silverback with 74, 60 for Sir Patrick Stewart, Janine Giraffalo, 56, Radis Maximus, 54, Donovan Barely, with 46 and Shorty Smalls with 44. Best thrower yards wise is Master Splinter with 32. Followed by Trustworthy with 28. Sarah Silverback, Sexy Birch, and Sir Patrick Stewart all with 26. Ratbot 4000 with 24. Isaac Newton, Taffy with 20. And Radis Maximus and uh, above board with 18. Best survivors, it's a lot of people, everybody that's alive. <laughs> Best killer is Heli still with two kills. Radis Maximus, Angbadang, Zombie, and Axon, Axoff, all with one kill uh, of their own. And then the best receivers, uh, you know, they've caught the ball. They're not that special, whatever. I guess, you know, anybody on here that hasn't been on here? Ricky Ruby. There you go, Ricky Ruby. There's your, there's your moment of excellence. Ricky Ruby. So that wraps up the week four games, and that leaves us with Kanor in first place at 12 points, Strippin's Would Not Bang at 10, Tales of Rats, and Quill 18's Brussels Sprouts at 7. So those are the top four teams. Then we got myself at 6 points, the Dark Rainbows. I think I put myself, myself at 7 points last week for some reason. I messed up. But I'm at 6. Northern Lion is at 5. TB and Unit Lost at 3. And Force at 2. And Dodger at 1. Let's start taking a look at the teams. First up, we got Quill 18's team. He's got 140,000 gold in his treasury. Uh, Rerolls cost 180,000, so he cannot buy an extra one yet. He has all of his uh, black, or two black orcs with tackle, and he's got a blitzer with block tackle, and he's got a thrower who also has block. So he's really getting his team a lot bashier with that block, because they're already hard to injure with 9 and 8 
armor value. Primarily 9, only one player with 8, but still. Uh, you gotta watch out, because down the line, when players start getting injured more, people start losing people, uh, you know, Quill 18 Zorks are gonna be pretty healthy for the most part, and he's got a lot of money to replace any of them, so... That is the Orc team. Then we got Kanor, who has uh, Janine Giraffalo with block. He's got Dodge and Pro on Sarah Silverback, and he's got block on Super Kittens. Uh, Wrestle on Dove Chappelle, which is kind of like block in a way, but uh, not completely. Uh, if you want to know what it actually is, this player is specifically trained. So when you roll them both down, Instead of applying the both down result, both players are wrestled to the ground and are placed prone in their respective squares, even if one of them has the block skill, so... And there's no armor rolls made or anything, so it's like... Instead of negating uh, both down like block does, it just places you both down, even if the other player has block, so it's kind of... it's pretty cool. Uh, then we got Zach Galifianakis, who got kick, so that he can get some better kicks and positioning of where he wants the ball to be. He's also got 100,000 gold. And four rerolls in Apothecary, so... Uh, Kenora's doing pretty well, but... He's still the vampire team. Then, of course, we have my team. Uh, I got Rick Troll, who now has guard. Uh, I believe he had guard last week as well, though. And... Uh, that's gonna help out my front line, who could use some help with their low three strength. Uh, we have Ratbot 4000, Radis Maximus, the Bubonic Blocker, and Pack Rat the Point... Preventer, all with block, and my Blitzers have block, so all of my Skaven have block now. That's extremely good. Like, that is really, really good. Uh, then we have my Goblins. Big Gobbo has Wrestle, so I just explained what Wrestle was, so we don't have to do that. Uh, and then Shorty Smalls now has two heads, which uh, he's go having two heads enables this player to watch where he's going and the opponent trying to make sure he does not get there at the same time. So he adds one to all dodge rolls that he makes. Uh, he does not actually have two heads in the game, which is sad. I wish he did. It would be an awesome thing to see, just a player with two heads, because he grew one. But uh, he gets plus one to all his dodge rolls, and he already has dodge and uh, three agility. So, I mean, and he has stunty. So Shorty Smalls is going to be very hard to take down if he's, like, dodging through a bunch of people. So I like that. I like two heads on Shorty Smalls. Uh, and then I got 80,000 gold. I already have four rerolls on an Apothecary, so I'm really just saving this gold in case somebody gets hurt and I need to replace them. Anything like that. Maybe down the line I'll get some cheerleaders assistance, but... I mean, for now, I'm pretty happy with where I am. Then we got Northern Lion, who finally got a player he could level up. He got Axon, Axop with a level up. I'm gonna go yell at him right after this to go level up his player. So, we'll see what he does when he actually plays his game. I would imagine, uh, with that, he'd get... This is a blocker, so... Uh, maybe... Guard or something to help his other guys. Uh, three stray. Or oh, a stat point if he gets one. That'd be nice. But, I'm gonna go yell at him. Northern Lion! Then we have Strippin's team. What, what used to be a team, at least, uh, it's down to seven players. He has 110,000 gold, so he's 10,000 short of another war dancer. I feel, I feel like he just, he just needed that extra 10,000 gold to get that other war dancer, because he, those are just so good. Uh, so he's down to five linemen, one, two of them have block, and his thrower also has block, so... They at least got some extra defense there, but he needs to make it past this week. And I think then he's going to get another war dancer. I think then he's going to get it rolling again. Because you don't need a whole lot of people with the high elf team. That's the thing, is uh, even though he's down to this many players, he can still win games because of all their crazy plays. Uh, he's got two rerolls, one apothecary. So, we'll see what he does. I'm interested. It's going to be it's gonna be interesting down the stretch because I know... Uh, he play... Who's he play this week? I think he plays Force. So, I think he's just gonna try to out-strategize Force. But we'll see. This is Blood Bowl. This is Blood Bowl. And we got Unit Lost, who finally got their first win. I am proud of them. They deserve it. They have been great sports. 
And they have 130,000 gold, so they got some money. Uh, they also got guard on their blitzer, Gordon Ramsay, so... Uh, would I have gotten guard? I don't know if I would have gotten guard on a blitzer. I probably would have gotten something like Mighty Blow. So I could have got him... So that blitzer could have got even more points faster now that he's, like, one of their only leveled up guys, but... Uh, guard's still not bad. You could put him on the line. He's got block. Uh, what else? We got two players with five SPP. Even though he's got a uh, smash knee, but that's not going to really affect him aside from his chances of getting injured. Uh, then we got Winston Churchill with four. Admiral Nelson with five. The Stig with four. Sir Patrick Stewart with four. Isaac Newton with three. So they have a lot of players who can level up. And we'll see if they can start leveling up a lot of these players. I think that'll help them out a lot too, obviously. Because, yeah, you get stuff when you level up. Okay, we're moving on. Then we have Total Biscuit, who is at 30,000 gold. He's won 10,000, I believe, two weeks straight. I feel bad for him. That's just, that's, that's pretty unlucky. He's got Scare Cam with Sidestep and Google Plus with Block, so that's very nice, a Blodge Goblin. He's also got a Bub Board with Sure Feet, uh, but outside of that, you know, his trolls are on the verge of leveling up, but they have not leveled up yet. His loonies at 2. Uh, he's got Screeching Let's Player at 2. He's got... Uh, Machinima Disclosure at 2. <laughs> uh, and Angbadang also at 2. So, uh, we'll see. I think TB at this point is... He's just going to try to hurt people. We got inter an interview with TB coming up, so... Stay tuned! And we have Dodger. And her halflings. I feel like she doesn't want to play halflings anymore because she's realized how difficult and not good they truly are. I think she wants to go back to the Amazons. But you know what? She's she's still trying. So we got Sammy Sapphire who's got plus one movement. Good job, Sammy. Then we got uh, Precious with grab. Uh, Edelard Weatherby is going to miss the next game with an injury. She's got all this gold, but she uses it for her... Uh, inducements, obviously. So she gets her tree man and her half bling, or the pff, half bling, the half bling master chef. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the half half blings can pull off some crazy upsets. I'm just waiting for her to play Kanor and then watch the half blings beat Kanor. I just watch it happen. Watch it happen, everyone. <laughs> then we have Lumen. Lumen has gotten Juggernaut. On his Rat Ogre, a player with the skill is virtually impossible to stop once he is in motion. If this player takes a Blitz action, the opposing player may not use their Fend, Stand Firm, or Wrestle skills against Blocks. And he may choose to treat a both down result as if a push result had been rolled instead. So, that's really nice, treating a both down as if it's a push roll instead. Uh, however, with three casualties caused, I might have gone with... Uh, they already have Mighty Blow. What's that other skill that helps out after Mighty Blow? Claw? I think he could have gotten Claw, or is that a mutation? That might be a mutation. And I think, or is that on a Blitz? I don't know. Somebody say in the comments, Juggernaut, it's not bad. Uh, say in the comments what you would have gotten, because I'd like to know now, because I'm trying to think of all these skills. But either way, maybe even Guard. Uh, would have been nice, but it's still not a bad option. Juggernaut still, uh, it's still a decent skill. Then we got a uh, Splin with Block and Sure Hands, and the rest of his players. We got Loom, uh, Five Fee. I still don't know how to say his name. Both with five points. Uh, Itch and Briss at three, and Pink at two. Briss or Bree? I don't actually know that either. Listen, your names are confusing, Lumen. He's got 130,000 gold though, so he can buy another Storm Vermin. I think he should probably do that. He could also get another reroll, so either another Storm Vermin or another reroll. I think it's up to him. We'll see what he does. And finally, we have Force, who uh, managed to get a tie in his game, which, you know what? He tied. A lot of people didn't even think he could get a win, and he managed to tie uh, without a computer simulation. So, you know what? I think that's progress for him. Uh, we got Zombe, who got Dirty Player. Uh, so he can foul people with Zombie. Uh, he also got a level up on Dirt Gobbler the Ghoul. Uh, we'll see what he does with that. 
and I'll yell at him too to level up. And then he's got, he's actually got quite a few people getting some points now. Uh, he's got 80,000 gold, because he's got four rerolls and a necromancer. Uh, with 80,000, he's keeping that werewolf out there with two agility. So, you know what? It's all, it's all his team. <laughs> and he got pro on his other werewolf, which, uh, it's all about your, it's pretty much you get another reroll. Kanor explained it in our game. Go watch Kanor's game if you want a legit explanation about it. <laughs> okay? Okay. It is time to head on down to the locker room. We got an interview with the goblin coach, Total Biscuit. Krendor? Hello, everyone. How's it going? We are here with Total Biscuit, who is coaching the goblin team, as you can see on the screen. Total Biscuit, thank you for coming on to the show. Thank you for the brown envelope containing the gold that I will need to fix my team after this disastrous season thus far. I mean, you're at a solid 30,000 almost halfway through the season. Uh, you may be able to yeah. buy a new goblin very soon. I don't know if that'll help, actually. All of my goblins seem to be functioning normally, but my dice appear to have been sabotaged, and I assume it's the dirty wood elves that are responsible for this. It's a disgrace. Nothing is being done about it. I think we should do we should do some checks into the wood elf locker room. It's At for least... the best. You can't trust them. I mean, this is a team that only has six actual players on it. Everyone mm -hmm. else, they brought them in. Who knows from where? You know, bloody mm -hmm. immigrants coming in and ruining our sport right here. Could be from Poland. They could, could be, be from the Czech Republic. They could be from the frozen chaos wastes. How the hell would we know? Did we check? No, of course we, we didn't. didn't. We did no, not didn't check think. whatsoever. Didn't think, so. didn't think so. I mean, how else are they still undefeated? Yeah, I have, I have to ask. I and mean, this is a team that has had half of their members killed in the first four matches, and yet is still winning games. I mean, I'd expect that from a necromantic team. Absolutely. Mm. Bring them back. But no, it's a what off team. They don't go in for all of that necromancy nonsense, none of that black magic. And yet, regardless, the success. Yeah, it's suspicious, I tell you. It is highly suspicious. And I am meaning more than the regular suspicion that I have of a Blood Bowl team. Uh, there's there's two kinds of dishonesty in this sport, mm. Grendor. Two kinds. Two the kinds. first kind is that nice, upfront, honest dishonesty. The kind of thing that we... In the Mad Bombers have practiced for decades. The kind of sneaky, dirty git sort of strategy that really gets the fans fired up and excited. The kind of strategy that involves a chainsaw and a swift spiked boot to the balls. And then you've got the Wood Elf mm -hmm. bullshit. Yep. And that, that my friend, is what is bringing this sport down. It is going to the dogs. And I feel like they knew that. They knew that you were the you were gonna cause the chaos and they didn't want that to happen so you got your loony who's just killing himself your bombardier's killing himself it's just your fanatics spinning all over the place my pogoa like this this guy this pogoa has mm -hmm. been absolutely fantastic throughout this season he has dodged everything thrown at him this guy he's got the agility of a cat mm -hmm. he has the reach of your average hill giant he is a monster on the field. He is a true prodigy of the sport. And yet somehow, mysteriously, he trips over and falls three turns in and is badly injured. Now tell me, does that sound right? That sounds like your really stupid trolls could be in on it. Because they have been really, really stupid. I have been suspicious and I tried to confront them on this issue, but they didn't seem too talkative. Can't really be sure why. They got a little upset. So I gave them a little bit of time to themselves. They're surprisingly emotional trolls. I'm not sure if you know. No. We really have to be very careful when we deal with them. We've even brought a counselor in to see if there's some kind of deep-seated issue. And we just can't figure it out. The trolls don't want to do their part. Hmm. Well, I mean, it hasn't been a good first half at all for you. But you got to win. And that's better than about half the teams in the league. We did get a win, yes. We absolutely did. And it was a good win. It was a good, solid goblin win. Mm -hmm. I was proud of that. That's when things went our way. Mm-hmm. And I know that coming up, you actually play the halflings, so that should be an easy win. 
you'd think so, wouldn't you? But you would also think that a half-dead Wood Elf team would also, in fact, be an easy win. As it turns out, no. So I have a feeling there is a conspiracy going on. Those in the hierarchy, the high ivory towers of this particular league, they don't want the goblins breaking through. They want to keep us down. They want to keep the green man down. They do. Would you accept that in these modern times, Krendor? I ask you that. We will not accept that. In fact, no. after this, I'm going to send my finest private investigators onto this situation. We're going to get this I'm, We're going to get this handled. I'm glad that you are on the side of equality, Krendor. That really warms my tiny shriveled bribed heart. I know, and maybe you can actually get some money to buy bribes. That that would also be quite nice. You know, it, <laughs> All right, well, thank you for joining me, Total Biscuit, and hopefully you can get some more money and kill some more players. No problem. If you want to pay me for another interview at any point, by all means, I am available. Thank you. Well, back to Krendor in the studio. Krendor, I stole your joke. Thanks, Krendor. So with that, we're done with week four, and we move on to week five. We have Tales of Rats taking on My Dark Rainbows. We have Dodgers Halflings taking on the Brussels Stouts. We got Kenora's Funny Farm taking on TB's Mad Bombers, who... I feel like TB needs a lucky break, and who else... What a what, what a better time for that to happen against Kenora, right? Because he's been quite lucky. So, go. Go get him, TB. Get some luck. Uh, Unit Loss taking on Northern Lion. That should be a good game. I think that'll be... One of the best uh, entertaining games, because those are two of my most uh, entertaining people in this league. Just, I want to hear their witty banter back and forth. Uh, and then finally, we got Strippin taking on Force, who, you know what? Force actually played a lot better than he previously, previously did, so I'm proud of Force. I think he's going to keep getting better at the game, and Strippin is just beat up, yet he's in second place, so, hey, what else? Thanks for watching the weekly wrap-up. I forgot to do the, uh, like, Star Player Awards this week. I'm sorry, it's just, it's been a late week, so just wanted to rush this highlight show out. If you, get, if you want an MVP, I give it to Rick Troll, because he's, he's Rick Troll. And yeah, go Rick Troll. If you want to check out all the people, you can click to go to their channels. If annotations are not working, which they were not last time, I will put the links to their channels in the description. You can go check them out. And, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.